either give me relief or I'm going to go get relief from the bankruptcy court. He said, well, I don't think you'll do that. Well, <clears throat> I checked out. Somebody told me a great bankruptcy lawyer. He had written some of the laws in Louisiana on bankruptcy and, and all over. So I go to him. You're going to love this. This is his true name, Robin Cheatham. <laughs> Now, nothing against this. <laughs> True name. So he says, <clears throat> and he's a Baptist. Not that that matters, but I'm sitting there, and I'm so innocent about this, I'm like telling him about Medjugorje <laughs> and my leg and how it healed, and now I want to come back, and I'm going to heal my business and all this, and he just kind of pats me and, oh, okay, all right. Well, well, first of all, he's a lawyer. So, I mean, what do you expect? You know, how lawyers are. So, yeah, uh huh, uh huh. So I give him the money, and we start following the, and he said, uh, Now, what do you really want to do here? I said, I just want you to get me some time so that I can sell the station and I can get out of debt and I can start all over. I just want to get rid of all these things. And, you know, be careful. You know, uh, there's a, a, a commercial uh, that we had in New Orleans. It's a terrible, terrible commercial for a low rent uh, furniture business. And, and they got a guy, and he wears a big cigar and a big hat. This is how the commercial goes. And somebody comes in and says, I'm bankrupt, and I don't have any credit. And they go, well, go see the special man. And then they walk over, and there's a guy in the back, and he goes, let him have it, let him have it. And it's all about how you can get furniture and everything with no credit or bad credit. And then they can bring another one come in and say, I don't have a job. I don't have this and that. Go see the special man. Let him have it, let him have it. Well, all I could think of was myself. I wanted this, I wanted that, I wanted cars, I wanted houses, I wanted this, and Jesus was sitting up there saying, let her have it. <laughs> let her have it. So man, I'm, I'm wanting all these material things. Let her have it, let her have it. Well, now I got them, and I can't get rid of them. Nothing will sell. I, all I got to do, I want to unload this radio stations, I want to get through, through with this, and it's like, Everything was like, no, nothing's going. Nothing's going my way. Nothing's selling. I had all my properties up for sale. So the only thing I could do, the biggest thing, was get rid of the radio station. So I go up there and I tell the, the lawyer, just give me some time. Just let, give me some time from the court. And this is what I want to do. I said, first of all, the station I'm finding out now, and it was in a small town where everybody was connected. So this one's brother-in-law knew this one of the owners that were carrying the mortgage. Come to find out, this was like a shell game. They would sell it to somebody knowing you couldn't make it, take all your down payment, you foreclose on you, resell it again. So this, is, was a, this was a game. So when the lawyer saw that there was a pattern like this, he figured, well, you do have some hope here because this is, this is not good business practices, what they've been doing. They've been doing this before. So I said, look, all I want to do is sell it and this and that. It's overpriced. He said, well, what do you think it is? So, I tell him what I think it's worth, worth. and he said, uh, okay, he says, uh, do you have that money? And I said, no, but I can get it. And he said, oh, okay. So he goes in, and we go to the bankruptcy judge, and we tell the thing, and the, lawyer, the judge looks at everything, and he said, all she's asking for is 120 days, I think, and she wants to pay this amount of money. And then he got, lawyer said, the judge said, well, okay. He said, I'll give you 120 days to come up with the money, so be it, so done. And these people sitting there going, <gasps> you know, the, the, the uh, original owners, they're like, oh, they didn't want that to happen. So now I got 120 days. Well, I got to hurry, okay? So we're walking out to the car, and I said, oh, Robin, thank you so much, and this and that. And he goes, well, now look. He says, you have the money. You know how you're going to get this money? And I said, well, yeah, kind of. I said, I have a new CEO. And he said, oh, you do? Does he have money? I said, oh, yeah, he's got a lot of money. He said, well, who is it? I said, Jesus. <laughs> well, let me tell you, they don't want to hear that. That was not funny to him. He said, look, I put my reputation on the line. You can't come up with something like that. I said, hey, listen, I'm telling you. I turned it all over to him. It's his. It's his.